Hello everyone, this is Lorraine from Greenhouse Trials and Tribulations on this very rainy day. Uh, it's first week in July and things have really taken off. I am going to give a huge shout out to my cousin Amanda. I visited her in New Jersey last week and I just could not stop thinking about her garden. She's growing tomatoes, she's growing watermelon, herbs, and um, some really great stuff. And of course, my cousin Joanne, who supports her um, botanical, uh, what would you say, gifts. So, I just want to share with you what's growing on in my greenhouse. It's, you could hear the pitter patter of the rain. I stopped the fan. Um, some people, Put the fan on only when it's very hot. I believe that when there's a lot of moisture, it's very important to put the fan on so that the leaves don't accumulate, you know, mold and whatnot. So, just want to share, this is what I was working on. I'm trying to organize things. These are my herb, flower, and lettuce baskets. And I'm getting ready for next Saturday. It's going to be an outdoor event up here in Unadilla. So you will notice this top shelf. Uh, it's much different than when you first saw it. I just put um, like 12 to 15 different baskets. Over here I have my Ford Hook Zucchini. I have some up in the upper field. Right over here, you can see there's like limited light. Some of these are dry, some of these, uh, you know, are lighter. Over here, this is actually asparagus. I think it takes probably three years to bring it to an actual stalk. That's what I've heard. I have squash everywhere. Uh, just gonna, you know, bring the camera around. Over here, you will notice this is a California poppy. Absolutely colorful. I planted this today. You will notice that it has a variety of different uh, things in one container, like kale, um, arugula, different types of kale. And over here, my diamond eggplant. Um, that's what I was talking about the other day, where there was a black microscopic growth. So what I did was I went ahead with mineral oil. Mineral oil is very helpful in suffocating the little, uh, you know, uh, microscopic organisms. Over here I have chamomile. As I said before, I'd like to make my own tea. There are some things that need to be watered. This is a Mexican midget tomato plant and seems to be doing well. Uh, very delicate. I think the leaves are like really nice. Uh, over here I'm going to be pulling out some of these honey butternut squash because there are too many and just bring you over here again the lettuces are just taking off I put several in a container so that you could see the way they they sort of support each other and you know they fill in beautifully so this is lettuce over there is true lemon cucumber called true lemon because it's got the shape of a lemon um, and you'll notice here I have this tall eggplant, uh, diamond eggplant. I have to cut it back, getting a lot of flowers on my tomato plants. I did put a whole bunch in these five gallon buckets. You'll notice here I have two plants in one. I have a whole bunch of cucumbers and these are, I don't know what type of cucumbers, I'm totally losing track. But you'll notice that these buckets go very well along the edge. Eventually I will have shells, but they go beautifully along the edge and they look really good propped up. I did not plant this tomato plant. Somehow the seed got in there, I left it in there. And you can see I'm working in this corner here. Um, it's becoming an Olympic sporting event because there's a snake in this greenhouse and I don't know um, 
I had a friend who just told me that there was a copperhead on her property and those, you know, are very dangerous. I know the anti-venom is like, I don't know, 60 to 70,000 if you happen to get bit. I need a walking stick like the ancient Egyptians when they walked through the desert to keep the head down. Haven't seen the head of this snake yet. It is brown. I think it's a garden snake, but uh, ever since I heard about my friend having a snake on her property because they said there are copperheads upstate. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit more paranoid than I was yesterday. I hope you can take something away from my video today and a shout out to all the great gardeners out there. And when I say great, if you are someone who put a seed in the soil and you saw it develop, I consider you great to all a great day.